Welcome to Sky Rider. <laughs> All right, let's get this uh, weekly update off to a start. So I'm gonna kick it off with uh, the big issue at hand. Flight deck was still closed all day yesterday. It was closed all day yesterday. They are having some pretty big problems with it from what we were told, and it may be a bit before they open. Um, right off the bat, right next to flight deck, we have a bit of inter uh, a bit of an interesting turn. So the haunt maze was removed yet again. Um, so everyone knows at the beginning of the year it was removed due to uh, storm damage. And then uh, it was removed a couple days ago, once again, after being put back up for the school events, and now it's been taken back down, which is extremely weird, um, considering that Halloween Haunt is not necessarily right around the corner, but it's like coming. So uh, a bit of uh, a bit of weird activity back there. Um, so this is back in Splashworks. So um, as you can see, they put in a water main. This is getting interesting. So a water main was installed at ground level, not ground level down there, I'm talking about Splashworks ground level. Interesting, eh? Well, let's uh, let's look at what they've been doing over the last couple days here. So this is footage from two days ago, and then you're gonna have footage from today. So out of an interesting um, turn of events, it looks like they built a service road that connects the um, Splashworks operations buildings back there to the main road over by Sledgehammer, and they are starting to bring in dirt from off of property. So I repeat, they are bringing in dirt off of property. They're not taking dirt from the Wonder Mountain Junior next to Ghoster Coaster, where they've been storing um, the lake mud and lake dirt for the coaster. They're bringing in dirt off of property, dumping it here, leveling this out to Splashworks level. Again, they're leveling the dirt hill to Splashworks level, raising the ground level from down there up to like this. If you notice, Splashworks is kind of like on a a raised elevation compared to the rest of the area. And um, it's just interesting. I'm, I'm literally like, are we getting a coaster, Winterfest, and a water park mini expansion for 2019? That can't be. That's like a lot of money. Like, what is Cedar Fair doing to Canada's Wonderland? Um, it is the same construction company doing this that is in charge of the coaster. So it's Rutherford and UCC Group which makes it that much more interesting. Um, it's just like I'm baffled uh, <laughs> or confuzzled is what I normally say. Um, I have no idea what they're doing. Like to me, it has Splashworks written all over it. The fact that they're leveling the land to Splashworks level. So they're they're digging up the, so this used to be a lot taller by the way. So they're removing dirt from there. They're also bringing in dirt from outside. You can tell um, in the clips uh, from uh, today, and it had a, like a farm kind of smell to it, the dirt they were bringing in, um, which was interesting. And yeah, they're leveling it completely to this grass hill. And uh, very interesting. I, what do you guys think is going on? I mean, I personally, as you just heard, think it's a Splashworks expansion. Um, and I don't mean a big Splashworks expansion. I mean, like maybe a, a slide complex at best. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? What do you think they're going to do with this land? I know a lot of you are going to say RMC Mindbuster, but I can't see them leveling it out to Splashworks for RMC Mindbuster. Um, it's, it's just all so strange. Um, so I definitely think Splashworks expansion. I think a water site complex. And I don't know. Is this for 2019? Is Canada's Wonderland going to get a big upgrade for 2019? Is it going to be a water slide complex, a roller coaster, and Winterfest? So as you can see, the service road coming out there, going over to Sledgehammer and Backlot. And it connects to the little uh, operations booth. So a little bit of interesting news. I am hearing rumblings that track will be arriving Monday. Um... And I do believe this. Uh, it come from it came from some pretty reliable sources. Uh, yeah, so tracks should be here early next week, um, preferably Monday. Um, and then also electrical is going in the tunnel. Finally, uh, I've been waiting for this to happen. So they started installing electrical PVC piping into the tunnel. Um, they have not yet done the staircase on either end. But yeah, the tunnel is very dull. No theming, no nothing in there, just cement. Electrical is finally going in. That means they might start, you know, adding some features in there. This seems like a very big project on its own. There is one dude in charge of doing the entire tunnel at this moment. He's installing all the electrical. And another turn of events, overnight lights were dropped off. Overnight construction lights. 
Is that not weird? I thought they were really far ahead. Like, why are overnight construction lights being dropped off? Um, and then here we have a sign for column 88. And it is in the Timberwolf um, Whitewater Canyon area near the pond marker. And as you see, we have these pylons that mark like column 81 left and right. So very interesting, eh? especially when you compare that to Val Raven and its length and how many columns it had. It didn't have that many. So this coaster is definitely shaping up to be a very interesting project. I'm very curious. And wait till you see my video that comes out after this. Very interesting topic of discussion. So stay tuned for that speculation video because that's going to be a really good one. I'm excited for that. So um, as you can see, the footer out of the station is done. The footer next to the footer out of the station is now done. It is deep. This does confirm the typical dive move of diving out of the station. Well, not diving, but a little dive turn into the lift hill. So I definitely can tell that's going to happen. Um, they were carving about 50 to 100 stakes. So all that pile there is all stakes going in the ground. So they're definitely getting ready to move forward with marking where the next round of footers are going to go. We know the second half of this coaster has no footers yet. They're just on the station, the lift hill. They're done. I think they're done a lot of the lift hill. Uh, they're done the tunnel and they're done a bit of footers in Timberwolf Falls. Other than that, we're missing a big piece of the puzzle. So they're definitely going to work on that. So this here is a clip, a little teaser for the next video. So I was given permission. I asked permission again. Do not film in Splashworks without permission. I asked the lifeguard if I could go up here quickly and just point my camera at the construction site and film. Um, <laughs> the little group of four people down there. I met you guys. Uh, thanks for like recognizing me. It was super cool meeting you. <laughs> I guess they noticed I was up here filming. Um, but yeah, I just got some really cool shots of the construction site that I had to show in this update because these are my weekly updates now. End of the week, I'll do a weekly update of anything going on at Canada's Wonderland. Um, so in this area, nothing interesting. They were making more footers in this area. So they were making a lot of formations at the end of the day yesterday in this area. Um, and look at those massive deep footer cage, uh, rebar cages for footers going in. Like, look at them. They're so massive. They're so deep. Um, I'm guessing lift hill or a turn. They are pretty, like, I don't know. Very interesting. Lots of um, water work and electrical was done in this area. And there's a lot of PVC piping in the back corner. But yeah, very interesting this area. It's definitely um, near the end of the lift hill in this area. So I have a feeling that's why the electrical is there. They have some water work too, and that's near the brake run. That's interesting to pay attention to. They put in water work. You can see they're keeping a lot of the trees in the area with the green markers. Um, green definitely means keep, I think, in this case, hopefully. Um, they don't seem to be like in the business to be removing a lot of trees, which is good. Canada's Wonderland definitely is known for being that very like shady park, like very and shady in a good way. <laughs> um, but yeah, lots of sea piping. Don't know if it's for the tunnel or other aspects of the ride. Um, this whole project has me confuzzled. I'm super confused. I have no idea what's going on on the second half of the coaster. I only know this beginning half, the dive, the Imolin loop and etc. cetera. Um, and yeah, pieces of the puzzle are slowly coming into place. Teasing should start next weekend from what I am hearing. Um, again, anything I comment on about the park is pure speculation and pure rumor. Um, we don't always know. Um, I thought I'd throw in this little quick clip of the uh, blueprints uh, for you guys. This is definitely the pre-lift area. It kind of puts it better into better perspective of what's going on. It's definitely going to be high stress. This is a significantly high stress um, part of the ride. It looks like it's much larger to that than Leviathan's pre-lift and much larger than that to um, Val Raven's pre-lift. The interesting aspect is I learned more about that blank column and it is used for high stress to relieve stress of a high stress area and pass it on down to um, a much stronger soil. And I find that interesting because that doesn't have it on Leviathan and it doesn't have it on um, Val Raven. So this is very, this is a very curious project and um, definitely going to be there every day. Vertical construction should be starting in 28 days on the lift hill from what I was told. And we should see vertical construction starting shortly on the break run and uh, station. Hope you guys enjoyed this update. Give it a like, subscribe if you haven't and share it. Thanks for watching guys. Enjoy my next video. And that's something we'll never see at La Ronde.